What's up guys, welcome back to a video from Grizzly Halloween. It's me, Sal, from Salvatore Vlogs. Today I'm collaborating for, with Grizzly Halloween because I'm going to show you a puppet makeup tutorial. Now, the only color you're going to need for this is red. So what I'm going to do is going. I'm going to use Grizzly Halloween's red makeup and I'm going to use, you can use either the um, Q-tip they give you any other Q-tip will work as well. So what you want to do is you want to rub the Q-tip into the red so you can, can get the makeup and then you want to start just like doing the lips. Like you're doing makeup. Of course, this might take a little bit. You might. Alright, so notice how my lips look like a little redder. I'm just doing red all on the side. Alright. Now what you want to do is you got to get the puppeteer cheeks. So you want to get the puppet cheeks. So what you want to do is you want to just start creating like a giant red circle on your one on your on a cheek you can choose which cheek it is but you want to choose you want to make it like a like a giant red circle so it makes you look like you are actually a puppet so you just want to get all red in there whatever you want to do you, you always just want to look like you are a puppet i don't fully look like a puppet yet so now i'm going to take a little bit more red just put it into my q-tip and i'm just going to keep rubbing it in I'm going to keep rubbing it in until the red spots on my face, they look a little realistic. And so now what you can do is you can rinse the Q-tip off using water. And I don't know if this is supposed to work. It might not work, so what you want might want to do... Yeah, this Q-tip, this is obviously now destroyed. So I think it's best to just throw this away. Um, in the garbage. Of course, like I said earlier in the video, you can always just um, go for some more. You can always get another Q-tip because any regular old Q-tip will work as well. So now we stab into our red. You can also like just do some designs and details. Maybe like a red forehead, for example, blood marks. You can, you can do anything you want. That's the fun part about makeup. So, yeah. So now what I want to do, I'm going to take some black, actually. I'm going to take Grizzly Halloween's black makeup. Um, you can go over that, actually, and it'll look like it's kind of purple, but it's also black. So, and then, like, you can also do, do some designs on the face. Maybe if you want to, I don't know, like darken your eyes out a little bit, that's a good idea. I would recommend doing that if you're going for like a slappy or a, a puppet look for this Halloween this year. So just like do darken around the eyes. Um, yeah. This might look like a crap job. You want to kind of darken the eyes a little bit, if you can. If you keep doing what I'm doing and your eyes are not dark, it's a sign you need to go for more makeup. So what you want to look like is some old puppet. That's the look you're going for when you're doing this. So you just want to like get a little bit more detail under the eye. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I'm going for the way I think. Um, you can do this puppet design however you want. Really, the basic part of this is really just the um, the red cheeks and the 
bright red mouth, and that's really the look you're going for. So, yeah, once you got, all right, so I think I'm just going to add a little bit more black to this. Just to give it, like, really a lot more detail. All right. So, once you're done with that, you can, all right, last but not least, um, you can even, I look just really spectacular, and, yeah. So, finally, what you can do, um, you can take your red, you can add some, um, you can add some blood, bloody effects if you want, I think I'm going to do that, um, I'm going to do just a little bit. Red on the chin, mix it in with a bit of black. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I, I don't know if I gave you, um, um, like a, um, full, good puppet material. I gave you like a really bad angry puppet material. If you felt like you're good at when I did the cheeks and the mouth, you could have just stopped there. Like, I'm just giving you what I think is a full puppet tutorial. You can stop at whatever step you want. It's not really going to matter. It's not going to ruin your life or anything. But, um, yeah. So, that's my makeup tutorial for a puppet. I can just an evil puppet all in general. So, Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to not just my channel, but also be sure to subscribe to Grizzly Halloween because they're awesome guys for hiring me to do this video. So, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to both our channels. And I want to wish everyone a Grizzly Halloween to you all.